Hi folks, in this tutorial, I will demonstrate how you can use a standard teleprompter with a tablet. This tutorial would be of great help to those who are now considering to use their tablet or iPad to record talking head or self videos. Stay tuned till the end for I will offer some tips on how to record self video with your tablet or iPad. Welcome back. If you are new to my channel, I am Dr. A.K. Venkatachalam. I make videos on medical topics and others on my phone, webcam and recently on tablets. I have already uploaded a video on how to record high resolution videos on a tablet. Check it out over here. So when you start recording talking head videos on your tablet or iPad, your next need will be a teleprompter to help you to speak fluently on camera. There are a few teleprompters which one could use by placing them over a tablet or desktop monitor. Check out my videos on the use of these over here. Everybody might not own these. However, do-it-yourself teleprompters like this one and standard tripod mounted teleprompters are more easily available and phone calls. If you activate the do not disturb function, then you might miss out on phone calls from your uh, client or patients. It is in this context that you could use a spare tablet or iPad to record talking head videos. When you start doing so, you will experience the need to hasten your recording and editing times. These will be necessarily longer without a teleprompter because you are not speaking to a predetermined script and are more likely to wander, pause, search for the proper words, especially in the medical context. Spend more time on editing if you had a teleprompter and all these could be completed in much shorter times. Let me show you my setup. Let me show you my recording setup. I am recording with the dual recording facility in my Samsung Note 20 Ultra. And this is the recording setup. This is a do-it-yourself teleprompter similar to all the teleprompters in the market. It has been made out of a picture frame. And it has got a lot of bells and whistles like these two cold shoe mounts at the front. On the left side, one of these cold shoe mounts is holding a mic. This is a Rode Video Micro mic. And this mic, the output of this mic is being fed into the projecting device over here, which is a phone. phone. So the video which I just recorded was done on this tablet device here. This is a Sam Samsung tablet and uh, it was recorded on the rear camera of this of this tablet. You can see the front over here. It was recorded on the rear camera of this tablet. The recording was done here. And since I am recording with the rear facing camera, I might have the need to monitor what's going on on the screen because I won't be able to see that I am sitting on the chair over there over there and I won't be able to see the screen. In this context, this Ulanzi flip up mirror is of great value. Although in the present case, since the phone screen was recorded by another camera for the purpose of demonstration, I could see what's going on on the phone screen here. But if I'm not demonstrating and I'm recording and I'm doing a routine video, then this Ulanzi flip up mirror will be of great use. I've uploaded a video on how to use this with tablets recently. In the first video, uh, how to record video with an iPad or a tablet, check it out over here. So this is the view in the front. Here is the phone, projecting phone. It's a Note 9 phone. And... Uh, it is getting audio signal from this Rode Video Micro mic over here. The script is on a teleprompter app known as the Prompt Smart Pro, and you can see the script scrolling as I speak. Consider subscribing to my channel, Madras Joint Replacement Center. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below if you have any other ideas. Share it with your friend. So you saw how the script scrolled. In response to my voice so this is the prompt smart pro that's the arrangement from the front i was illuminated by two lights one is a soft box and another is a yongnyo led light i could have used another light over here 
a small LED light because there is the facility to mount an LED light over here in a cold shoe mount. Uh, it is built on a 15 millimeter rail system you can see here and to support that I have this uh, excellent fluid head tripod. So that is my arrangement for recording talking head videos. Now you can see the Ulanzi clamp over here. This is the tablet held in the Ulanzi clamp, tablet clamp and this is the recording mirror. This is the, you can see the recording mirror over here which is uh, you can see the reflection of the screen of the tablet on the mirror over here. I am recording this video with the rear camera of my Samsung S3 tablet which has a resolution of 4K. This tablet is mounted and held at the back of my do-it-yourself teleprompter in an Ulanzi tablet clamp which is attached to the quick coupling plate of a floor standing tripod. In order to center the lens of the tablet over the center of the teleprompter glass behind, I am using the extension plate of the Ulanzi triple cold shoe mount. Normally one uses this with gimbals to attach lights or mics to their gimbal but this is one of the extended uses of the cold shoe mount. My voice is being recorded with a ceremonic lavalier mic plugged into the recording tablet. In addition, I have attached another mic to the front of the teleprompter in a cold shoe mount to record my voice and feed it into the projecting phone. This is because I am using a voice activated teleprompter script called PromptSmart Pro which responds to my voice and uh, will scroll when I speak and will stop scrolling when I stop. I also have a remote control in the form of this mouse which is controlling the script of the teleprompter projecting device. I also can control the recording by using this remote control to turn the recording on and off on the recording tablet. I am currently using a phone to project the script onto the glass of the teleprompter but I could also use a tablet but here come the risks. So when you are recording script on the tablet then you need to condense the script to the center of the teleprompter so that the extent of eye drift lateral movement of the, the, like that when you when you scroll from one side of the screen to the other you read a long line which is spread across the extent of the glass from left to right like that. So if you condense the script and project it exactly over the lens of the recording device then your eye drift will be reduced. Another tip is if people have complained that you have got eye drift and it doesn't seem natural that you are reading or you are speaking naturally then you could move the teleprompter away from you. In that case, you will have to increase the font size, increase the display of your projecting phone and use proper beam splitter glass or take necessary precautions so that the script is visible from a distance. This is because even though you are using a bigger device like a tablet, the lens of the device is still smaller and the same size of that of a phone. If you found this video interesting and valuable, then react to this video by commenting, sharing and subscribing. If you want to be notified about fresh videos, then consider subscribing to my channel Madras Joint Replacement Center. Press the bell icon after subscribing so that you will get an alert when I upload fresh videos. Share this with your friends. I will see you in the next video. Cheers.